all the grand stadia in world football, none more impressive than this. A very warm welcome to all of you from the San Siro in Milan. The teams then, AC Milan against Tottenham. This is Peter Drury and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Well, thanks, Peter. There's a great sense of anticipation in this stadium and I've been hit by it too. The instantly recognisable sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem, the perfect backdrop to this eagerly awaited night of European football. So empty, I'm receding And all of my friends are misplaced Been in circles several days Never knowing the right way mm, yeah. so of this nature, who can make the difference? The exciting Ivan Perisic. Uh, tall and rangy, but he has a deft touch and enough pace to move clear of attention. And he's always looking to shift the ball onto that left foot too. And he packs real power with it. Well, quite no argument for me on that one. Looks to slip it through. Davis. Kane. Oh, nearly. But nearly is nothing. Well, when he struck that, he must have thought it was going in. Such are the margins of success and failure in this game. That was so close. Song Hyung Min. Bizuma. Dyer dinks one in. Good idea, just poorly executed. And it's Kane. Tries a through ball. Decent clearance now. Can anyone get on the end of it? Bisuma floats one over. He's done very well to get to that. Well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. The Nasser pumps it upfield. Rebic needed to come up with a better ball. I timed this run brilliantly, and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then, and I think he's letting him know right now about... Goal! Spot! take the lead it's so often the case with goal scorers little influence and all of a sudden bang
Dyer. Perisic hit long and direct. Kane. Keeper's got good distance on that. The ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. And it's Kane. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Well, he simply failed to just put a little more oomph behind that. Defected behind for a corner kick. And the referee has brought play back and showed him a yellow card. from immediate danger Brahim Diaz crosses one in it's in well that's something that will make the manager proud because they dug in deep then and they've got their leveller and I'll tell you the chest control was the key component there that enabled the shot We hit half-time. How's the first half compared with your expectation? Look, this match promised goals, and it certainly hasn't let us down. It's been really, really entertaining. That's a really interesting game, and they head in at half-time at 1-1. Tottenham get the ball rolling for the second period. Perisic. Now the pass. Defence has got rid of that. It is a corner, good chance. Chances keep on coming, they're awarded another corner. Big moment! Massive goal! Well, this guy is just not your average footballer. Alert and sharp. And while one or two others were still digesting the manager's half-time team talk, he's already delivering another lead. What a good player. Tottenham go into the lead. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. Out wide to the right. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Son Hill Min! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Oh, he made that look really easy, Peter, but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save. He had to be very switched on there.
A wonderful delivery, and all it needed was a touch. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. He's made it three. Quite a day at the office for him. That defence must be sick of the sight of him. He's been persistent and ruthless all game. He just hasn't stopped working. Tottenham are two up and into a position of real strength. Listen, it's up to them now how they think about it from here because for me it's crying out for them to force the issue. And it's the goalkeepers to claim. Kane. Davis. And it's Ibrahimovic. I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Brahim Diaz. Florenzi goes long and forward. Ibrahimovic. Richarlison battles to win it back. Oh, no question, that's a foul. Now it's Kane. Who's going to make this theirs? Brahim Diaz to get it forward quickly Origi into the channel now it's Giroud it's a good looking cross really well taken goal with so little time left grandstand finish uh, deflection may or may not have made a difference little matter it is his Milan give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. Kane. Richarlison. Ibrahimovic. Passes it through. And that will be the final act. Fabulous entertainment, drama in spades, and no one would have argued with a draw, but they have lost it. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Milan have to question their whole attitude taken into this game.